As we look to Election Day 2024, will the state's voting system get any software updates? Well, today, state election board members question the Secretary of State's office about it. And recently, the Secretary of State said that the system won't be updated until after next year's elections. Well, 11 the Lives Doug Richards has more on the update and why it likely won't happen anytime soon. Most of us are probably accustomed to updating software with just the touch of a button, but updating Georgia's election machinery will be a much bigger job. Not just a simple install an update and hit update. State officials say there isn't enough time between now and Georgia's 2024 presidential primary to install and test a software update on the state's 35,000 computerized voting machines. This really will require us to fully rebuild the system. Dominion Voting Systems is recommending the update to fix potential vulnerabilities in the election system against the backdrop of a well-documented security breach at Coffee County's election office in January 2021. Some political figures like Republican Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones and the GOP's new state chairman, Josh McCoon, have warned that failing to update election software could endanger the security of next year's presidential election. Early voting for the primary starts about eight months from now. With this process, I honestly am thinking it's probably going to be closer to a nine to ten month operation. Aside from the time consumption, Michael Barnes told the state election board that the Dominion software update would make the state's voting machines incompatible with poll pads used to check in voters at precinct. So I'm thankful that we have are taking this meticulous approach at this point in time. Election board members voted down a request to switch next year's election to hand marked paper ballots instead saying they didn't have the legal authority to order it. What is the drop dead date? It's getting very close. Election officials say they are going to install the update on a few machines for a limited number of city elections in Georgia this fall as a test run before statewide installation in 2025. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.